Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to transmit and receive uh, via Bluetooth. I have a switch here and I have a LED there. When I press the button here, when I press, the light comes on. Let's get started with this. We need to use AT command to configure these two modules to work as master and slave. The Bluetooth modules are like this. Here. And the FTDI I am going to use this one to program it. The, I have made a separate video, it's available here to program the Bluetooth module. AT command video is available here. Uh, we have to configure the Bluetooth module with the 9600 baud rate for both of them. And first module, roll is 0, C mode is 1 and we take the address and we bind the address to next one. For the next one, roll is 1, C mode is 0. The wiring diagram is like this. Uh, I have a button here. This side connected to B1 and other same side connected via 1K resistor to ground. Other side of button connected to 3.3 volt. Here for the Bluetooth, I am connecting 4 pins, uh, 5 volt to 5 volt here, ground to ground, A9 to RX, A10 to TX. The wiring connection for the button module is here. The connection for the Bluetooth wires are here and the button is here and the resistor is here, it is connected like this. After connecting the first module with the button on it, I have connected the ST link to the computer and started the Cube IDE. If anybody does not know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video how to install Cube IDE and do a simple LED blank program, it is available here. Now as usual, we click file and new STM32 project and in this area we type F13C8, uh, this one we can select and click next and for the name I type BT1, uh, click finish. As usual, we click system core and click sys. And for the debug, we select serial wire. And then connectivity, we use USART 1. And for the mode, we select asynchronous. And for the board rate, we change it to 9600. This is the board rate we set it for the Bluetooth when we do the uh, AT command in the other video. And then we make it bigger. And for the PB1 pin, we select as a GPIO input. That's all the setting. We can click save and generate code. Yes. Yes. Uh, for the code, I have the website and I have even the code there. When you go to a web browser and click this one, uh, type this one. I have given this one in the description below. Uh, when we go below, the diagram is here, the pictures are there, the cube ID setting we have done, it's here. But the code is here, it's only few lines of code. For the user code begin 0, we copy and uh, we paste it in, user code begin 0. Or go below and uh, it's somewhere here, yeah. And we paste that one. And uh, the next line of codes in the while loop we copy from here until here we copy it in the same place in the cube ide we paste it there in, in this area we enter we paste it that's all the code what it does is it get the pin reading and it transmit uh, number one s key is 48 sorry number zero is 48 number one is 49 and then it transmits to the Bluetooth and wait for 200 milliseconds and it continues. And now we, now we can save and uh, we debug and see 
for any problem. There are no problems, no zero error, zero, zero warning. Now, as usual, we can click this one and we upload the code. And uh, debugger, I use the GDB server, or you can use the, like for example, uh, open OCD or anything, we can use the GDB server and click OK. Now it's verified successfully. Uh, now we can unplug the ST-Link and we go to the next module. The STM32 connected to another blue pill. It's uh, exactly same as before. And uh, pin A1 connected to 220 ohm resistor to ground. The wiring connection with the module with LEDs here. The Bluetooth connection is exactly same as before. The LED is here and the resistor is there. I have taken the wire from here to here. After connecting the second module with the LED and we go to the cube ID again, I'll click file new and STM32 project. And the same as before, F103C8 and we select the one and click next uh, name I give BT2 and finish as usual click system core click sys for the debug serial wire and uh, connectivity you start one and for the mode asynchronous it's same as before uh, and the board rate is same the same number 9600 and uh, finally, PA1, we select as a GPIO output. That's all the setting. We can click save. Uh, generate code, yes. Yes. Now the, the code is also in the same website. When we go there again, uh, go below. This, this is the diagram for the second one and the picture. And the cube ID setting is here. PA1 to GPIO output. And uh, finally, the code. Now we Collect the, uh, copy the user code begin uh, this line of code and go there. User code begin zero is here. Control V, paste, and then finally in the this line of code goes into the while loop. in this area. Copy it. Yeah, sorry, paste it. That's all. We can save and we just uh, debug and see for any errors. There are no errors. Now we use this button and then debugger and OK. That's all. All done. The code is uploaded. I have uploaded the code. Let's test it. The LED is there. The switch is here. On, off. On, off. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, please write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.